together, Kelly Simek. Uh, well, hi, everybody. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Going to be a warm Wednesday for your weather forecast once again without our trade winds here. They've been gone since Sunday, and it looks like we're not going to be getting them back until tomorrow. But good news is they are going to start to build back by late tonight. So one more day of the higher humidity, the warmer conditions, and those afternoon convective showers. For today, we're starting off the morning. Oh, take a look at our surf. Fun size waves out there. We'll have your surf forecast coming up in just a bit. But surf the earlier the better when the glassy conditions are still out there. Those onshore winds likely going to be chopping things up for us. We have a trough that's just to the north of the state. It's lifting northwest though, so as it's pushing away from us, we should see slightly more stable conditions coming through for today. We're still anticipating scattered afternoon showers, but potentially not as widespread or quite as heavy as what we saw yesterday. But once that trough moves away and dissipates, that area of high pressure is going to take over and our trade wind flow returns tomorrow through Saturday, but not for much longer after that because of Hurricane Linda. So let's take a look at the system. It formed in the Eastern Pacific, of course, just off of Mexico. Er, it's currently a Category 2 hurricane. Here's a look at the track. Good news is it is looking like it's going to quickly be weakening as it gets into cooler waters, stronger wind shear, and it's forecast to be a remnant low as it approaches us late Saturday night through Monday, and it'll pass just to the north of the state. It's looking like we're at least going to see this influence our winds, but it also looks like we could see some additional rainfall from it. So late Saturday through Monday, that's when we'll see the winds ease off once again, and it's also when we're expecting a bit more cloud cover and rainfall. For today, do anticipate afternoon showers. Tomorrow, about a 30% chance of rain, but more so trade showers that'll be coming through. Winds blowing to 20 miles an hour through Saturday. All right, that's like your weather, and I'll send it on out to Surf News Network's Gary Keeley, who has all you need to know on the surf front. Hey, good morning, GQ. Hey, good morning, Kelly. Yes, we're surviving the, the swell. Boy, this is the best one we've seen in like four or five years. Yesterday, it did get up to 10 feet Hawaiian scale at select spots. Way down today, three to five, but still pumping. Watch for some six-footers and glassy. It is perfect. All the way out to Sandy Beach, three to five. Watch for six-footers, though. It's very dangerous at Sandy's. A lot of backwash. Oh, Makapu'u, one to two. And out there at Makahas, two to four. The North Shore's down one to two. Again, everywhere eased up at the town shoreline. Still dangerous with high surf advisories posted. Now, trades come back tomorrow as the swells all decline. There's more south swell in the, on the way, though. Minus low tide just about now. Huge high tide at 130. We could see the surf surge and sun setting at 659.